Hello, this is Keith Gall, and today I will be talking about how to connect to a MySQL server or MySQL database using PHP. So what will you learn? Well, you're going to learn the tools that you need to set up your own local server uh, on your own PC. And the tools to do that, or the ones that I'm using, is one, the XAMPP control panel which includes the MySQL database and Apache. Now in the video description below this video, I will be posting links to uh, another YouTube uh, video that instructs you on how to download XAMPP and install it. You will also need a text editor. Now the ones that I commonly use are Notepad++ or Context. Um, if you have another one um, that you like, you could use that also. Uh, these two I found to be most helpful for me. And I use this text editor to write my, not only just HTML code and uh, uh, PHP code, but I also use it for other web development purposes. The uh, PHP syntax and functions that you will learn in this tutorial are listed below here and I'm going to go into detail once we switch over to my code for this example. Uh, we'll talk more about each and every one of these functions that are for PHP. So let's now go look into the code and then uh, after we discuss the code, I'll run the example to show you what the output will look like. So here we are in my text editor and this one I'm using is Notepad++. So first of all, to write PHP code, um, you must begin um, with uh, this tag up here which is a less than sign with a question mark and then type PHP. And then to close that out, you just go to, uh, um, uh, you end it with a question mark with a greater than sign. So in the beginning right here, the purpose of this is to connect to a, a MySQL database that I have set up. And then plus I'm going to run a query against the table within that database. Now, uh, the first part of this, I'm declaring and assigning values to my variables. And basically, um, uh, syntax for PHP, you uh, define a variable with a dollar sign and then name it whatever that you want. And right now, I'm assigning, um, I'm going to use these variables later on in my code down below, but basically what I'm assigning these variables to, these, the ID, first name, last name, and notes are going to correspond to the actual database fields in my table. And these fields are case sensitive, so you're going to have to make sure however you typed it in into your table in your database, it must match by case above here. So this other variable here I'm going to be using is for the server name. Now, since I'm running this on my PC, my local PC, my server is going to be localhost. And the, uh, the username for that server is going to be root. And in this case, the password is going to be blank. Now the database name that I have set up in my SQL server or my SQL um, database is this is my name right here uh, that I typed in. So let's go over to my SQL uh, uh, interface to show you uh, how it looks over there and then we'll come back to this uh, script. Here we are in the admin portion for uh, uh, basically XAMPP, and this comes again with XAMPP, is going to be an administration panel for MySQL. And basically, again, 
we're going to be connecting to this database. These are a list of databases, but this is uh, we're going to connect to this one. This is the database, and this is the actual table within that database that I'm going to be querying uh, throughout my uh, script. Now, as you can see over here, are the database fields, and again. However you type them over here, they must match in your script, so they're case sensitive. And now these are the individual rows within this uh, um, table. I've already inserted two rows. So what we're going to be doing is after we run this PHP script, it's going to display this information in our web browser. So let's now go back to my script and we'll continue on with the tutorial. So let's continue on with the explanation of how to run this. So my first line of code after my declaration of my variables and assigning var values to them, I'm going to set up a connection to my database. So PHP has a function called MySQL I underscore connect. And I'm going to pass it these following variables. And now the MySQL connect function just opens up a new connection to the MySQL server. And uh, uh, these parameters are optional. And uh, what we're going to be talking about specifically are the first four parameters. It also has a parameter for your port and your socket, which I'm not going to be utilizing in this example. So again, after you make a connection, what does it return? It returns an object representing the connection to my SQL Server. And then, um, uh, it basically, what it returns is a link identifier if it's successful, and it returns false on its failure. So I'm going to be passing it. The first parameter is my server name, which I signed up here. My username, password, and database name, they're all assigned up here. These are the values that it will pass to this function and return it into this variable called $con, which stands for connection. So my first statement is I'm going to check to see if it was unsuccessful connection. And so I'm doing an if statement, and it's uh, the first part is um, expo exclamation point with variable. So what this means is if not connection. So in other words, if this value is false, it's going to fall through this if statement down here. Now I have a, a function called die. Now this function just specifically prints out a message on the screen and exits the script. And you, it specifies the message or status number to write before it exits the script. And this function here, MySQL I underscore connect underscore error, basically returns an error description of your last connection error, which is done up here. So that's what I'm going to be printing out on the screen if my connection to the server and database is unsuccessful. So let's continue down here. Now I'm going to be assigning a variable called SQL to my select statement. So basically what I'm doing is I'm selecting every single field. It's what the star means is select every field from my table in my database. My table is table cust info and I'm going to order it by the customer ID field in ascending order. So now I'm going to perform a query against my database using this query string up here. And that's what uh, the dollar sign SQL here. And uh, the first part of this is my connection, which is what I set up here. So again, the MySQL I underscore query function has two parameters. You pass it the connection, which I set up here, and then my query which I set up over here. And basically, uh, it returns, uh, um, uh, it will return a MySQL result object. And for other successful queries, it will also return true. 
um, if you're not doing something other than what's explained up here for successful select show describe or explain queries it will return this object and for any other queries it will return true and it will return false on a failure if the query does not go through so now I'm going to check for the number of rows in the result set so if my SQL I underscore num underscore rows which is a function it's going to return the number of rows in the result set and I'm going to pass it the result object that I'm getting back from my SQL query above here so if it's greater than zero um, it will fall through to this code if it returns no uh, um, rows it's going to go through this else statement and we're using the echo statement to write out to the screen in your web browser and in this case if I get no results from this um, it will print out zero results otherwise it's going to go through this while statement and echo to the screen the values of each field in each row and that's what this line of code is doing so basically um, this my SQL I fetch association uh, function just basically means that it's, it fetches a result row as an array and uh, again the field names returned from this function are case sensitive so basically this echo statement is uh, I'm going to print out ID first the letters ID with a colon with a space and this dot sign means I'm, con I'm going to concatenate or add to this line right here and basically for each row in the, uh, that's in this result set we're going to be printing out this line of code here so you'll see how it actually looks in a second so basically I'm gonna print out each field in my table and I'm gonna put a break between each field and that's what this HTML code is and once I get to the end of each record I'm gonna print out two breaks or basically two blank lines so it'll look uh, more uh, appealing or easier to read for the end user. These two last lines of code are my SQL I free result function and basically what uh, uh, once we're done with the result set we want to free up the resources or memory and that's what we're doing here and then at the end we want to um, close out our connection so the MySQL I close is basically closing out this connection that we made up first up of here and uh, in other words it's much like hanging up the, your telephone once you your conversation is complete now let's go over to our web browser and I'm going to run this file and you're going to see the results for it okay I'm in my web browser and I'm using the Windows environment I'm on an 8.1 operating system and in order to run my PHP file or script I'm gonna open up a web browser and I'm gonna type in my local host which is my considered my server and I'm gonna run this file and I'm going to press enter and as you can see this is the result of my PHP script that I just uh, explained to you it prints out the field names or the basically the field values for each field name in my table that we queried for our database so this is how you can run um, or connect to a MySQL 
server database using PHP.